Hello and welcome to another episode of Kingdom Hearts 3 in this achievement guide section of videos. And in this one we're going for the Flantastic 7, how to get the high scores. And this is required for the Oracalum Plus, uh, which is used for the ultimate weapon synthesis. And we're starting off with what looks like a raspberry or a grape or something. So in this one, basically, you have to just kill as many of the flans as possible. You want to dodge any incoming attacks. If you don't, then I'm pretty sure it penalizes you in some way. But you want to use a lot of magic here. If you can get on the slider, even better. If you can wait till they're all bunched up as well, unleash a thunder. That will get you mega points. But this one's probably the easiest of the bunch. Uh, there's seven flans to fight, and I'm going to showcase all of the high scores, so get ready for that bomb-tasticness. Well, that was such a waste of a water there. That was terrible. You should be ashamed of yourself. You're going to use the uh, high wind. High wind's probably the best weapon for it, because it has the move where the things like descend from high above like that, that kills loads. Definitely one of the best things to uh, do. But I think you have to get 20,000 as a score on this to get the uh, the excellent or the high score, should we call it. If he does that little jump three times and then you get three of the fruit and you'll also learn a technique. Grapes. I knew it was grapes. Got any grapes? Got any lemonade? So this one is cherries by the look of it. The cherry flan. And this one's kind of awkward in some ways. Quite easy once you get the pattern. But you want to just go towards those little red arrows. They boost your speed. But you need to hit every flan on the way. Uh, you'll get used to the course. You just do it a few times. This by no means is an optimal run. This is probably one of the worst runs I did, but uh, I got stuck on a few other ones like this. That's easily how you can get stuck. Absolute nightmare. But yeah, you just want to follow it. You don't want to turn sometimes. Sometimes you just feel automatic need to turn into a corner. But it's not the right thing to do in certain cases. But yeah, if you get far enough through, you'll come to this room or area where there's just shared loads. Oh no, sorry, it's a bit further on. But make your way through here. It's not too hard. Just make sure you hit these orange things and you'll basically get driven there without pressing many buttons. Turn left there. Here's the big room. You want to hit as many things as you can here. I missed the thing. Absolute nightmare situation. Make sure you take out all of these. That sends you back few of these, few of them, bam, time's getting lower and lower. I think it might be 20,000 that you need on this as well. So I'm cutting it short, he sees the last bit, he goes for the gambit, boom, clears 20,000. I'm pretty sure it's 20,000 that you need for that. So I only just made that, but obviously you can, you can make improved runs of that one. I'm just giving a guide on an easy-ish way to do it. Because by no means are these runs perfect. Same for the other mini games like Vera and Rex and stuff like that. Sour cherries. Right again. Three times sour cherries. And you need these ingredients for... Um, what are they called? The cooking. You need them for the cooking thing. So... You get an achievement for finding all the ingredients. So that's part of that. And you also get an achievement for... Defeating all the enemies in the game. And the seven flans are actually part of that, so you have to beat them all. But you don't have to get the high score to get that achievement, but you might as well. Because it works towards the other achievements, and that's what you're aiming for. So in this bit, when you get high enough, you need to stay within this central bit. Otherwise, your uh, flans get knocked off. And basically you lose points you can't go any higher so you see here, i'm on 14,000. we'll see you soon there we go boom not too off we can't gain any points now 
until we get into the center. As you can see, they're just bouncing off, going nowhere. You need to get in the center. I think the range might only be 18,000 or something like that. Which isn't too high. But uh, you can easily get some uh, some good points here. Dodging isn't too bad. Like, it's really not that bad. 21,000. Just keep circling around, avoiding them. Back on yourself. Easy, easy for the three. Uh, strawberries, I think these are. Is this the strawberry one? That was the one in the rest area of the toy box. Yeah. I don't know. Is that a strawberry? Yeah, it's a strawberry. Must be. Three strawberries. Boom. Easy days. And here comes a watermelon. This one's kind of interesting. It's kind of like uh, one of the old school games where things are coming at you. You just got to keep firing until you get it. So that cannon, basically, they're, they're only going to come like that. If you hit that big guy in the background, destroys everything on the field, you get more points. It's a, uh, it's a decent thing to do. If you're under pressure, you can use the bell in the middle. And the bell in the middle just automatically kills everything. It just fires out a, a volley of arrows and stuff like that. So that's what you need to be doing there. Bang. I went for that. I don't know why I went for that. I probably just did it for the sake of it. But yeah, you want to watch your time. I think 30,000 is the score you need to get the excellent. I got 27,000 before. But sometimes they just like, they creep up on you. They go faster than you expect, some of them. And it's, it looks easy, but it's actually more difficult than it seems. Boom, off there. We didn't even hit the big guy. That was really strange. As you can see, like as soon as it disappears, I'm aiming for the big guy, but it's not happening. I think we get lucky here as well, because at the end, we timed it pretty well with the special. So. Boom, special for the win. Just cleared 30,000. Beautiful stuff. Moving on to, oh, I think it's three watermelons, is it? What does he give us? Can't remember. Focus siphon. Pretty good. Watermelon, yep. Times three. And this one I've sped up because it's uh, a jumping one and it just takes ages. So I think the score you need to get is 15,000. And it's pretty easy up till the start. Basically, the tactics you want to employ here are hitting the yellow... When, when the things flash yellow above the heads, you want to do that as quickly as possible. Because that way you don't your jump stays lower. And when you start floating through the air like I just did then, with the speed float, it's not good for air control at all. It's quite difficult. But yeah, we smashed it. We absolutely smashed it. When it starts doing that, it just becomes really difficult to control. But I'm doing really good on this one for some reason. And then I think I just ball it up there, yeah, for no reason. I think I got bored. 24,000, though, that was a good run. This is Pineapple City. Attraction Extender. And what is the fruit of choice? I don't know. Oh, I just clicked it off rapidly. I think it was melon or something. Could have been anything. This one is an interesting one. You gotta take photos of different flans and you have to do specific ones. So this one, you walk over to him. I kinda cut that first bit up, so you have to sort of come out of the camera, turn around, walk away and come back. Zoom in on him, and as he's coming out of the ground, snap a pick. Come down here, this guy'll jump out, get a cheeky pick of him. Go back all the way up here. There's no time limit as well, so you're comfortable here. And when he gets three on, he does a pose. Boom. Take a picture. Uh, these ones, I think there's two in a tree. Up here, yep. So these two jump down and they merge into like some weird cake. 
take a picture of the cake, boom, points. Uh, I think the score you have to beat is 23,000 or something. Get him as he's coming out of the water, nice and easy. Um, it, it, this one did actually take me quite a few attempts because some, sometimes it just doesn't give you the correct photo. It's a pain in the ass. But uh, here's the next one. These people are meant to do some sort of uh, spin around thing. So I'm on the wrong end of them here. So I've kept this in just showing you what not to do, to be honest. But these guys up there. Back the way you came. Where are you going? Where are you going? There you go. Right, so as you come past this tree. There, you'll see the five there. Basically, they run away, and then they'll come back one at a time. So when all five appear, you can take a photo and get the excellent of that. And then that will give you a decent amount of points. And then the last one is back where we were before with those other five. But you're meant to stay far away. <laughs> That's the one. Boom. Nice photo. Straight uphill to the other bit. And I'll, yeah, this is it. The pose. Ah, oh, we missed it. So we'll come back up and hopefully they'll do it again. Boom. Nice and quick. That's the one. 33,000. Smashed it out of the park. Is he going to give us some oranges, no doubt? Blood oranges. Blood orange. Crazy blood orange. And this is the banana one. This was a bit of an issue the first time I did it, but second time was fine. So you want to roll. Sorry about the quality here. I don't know what happened there. I think my uh, editor must have cocked that up slightly, but we'll persevere anyway. So he starts flying at you. You need to dodge him. You need to always be moving. Try and attack as you go around. When there starts to be a lot more flans, that's when you want to start unleashing thunder. Uh, Thundara or Thundaga or whatever I've got there. If you have any ethers, you can use them, make it easier on yourself. And you can just go around blasting Thundaras. Thundagers. It's easy. Just keep going in circles. That's the one. Clump them all together. He keeps getting bigger though as he uh, consumes things. If you're going to use Thundaga, uh, Thundaza, you want to. Uh, you want to make sure you're a bit away from him and whilst he's on the turn so you don't get caught by it because he can come at you quickly like that and he can just pick you up and that's it but as far as this goes I don't remember how many points this one was but I think we clear it quite comfortably see there we ran out of uh, MP which is unfortunate we could have smashed a load more points here, but uh, yeah, it was a comfortable, comfortable win. I think it was like twenty thousand or something. Nothing major. Nothing major. Get your bananas, and that's times three. I think is that all seven? Flanniversary badge. We went through that bloody quickly, and an achievement. I think Oracle and plus. Oh, we would have got the achievement if it was uh, the Flammeister. No dying enemy. That was uh, what we had to do. So complete the adversary section of the gummy phone. Beautiful. So thank you very much for watching. Oh, am I showing it anyway? Because I'm a beast. Yeah, Flammeister. Complete all Fantastic 7 missions. Fantastic. Might as well take 50 picks for another achievement. Why not? Uh, Avoid the uh, epileptic fit there. Lasting memories, we'll take that. So three achievements there. Thank you very much for watching. And see you next time.